Every once in a while, a person comes along who can teach us a valuable lesson about life. Parker Stevens is that sort of person. He lost his arms 13 years ago as a toddler, but that has not stopped him from doing the things any other growing boy wants to do. Kevin Wavilland has his story. You want the face of a can-do kid? Here it is. Oh. Just outside of Milner, North Dakota, Parker Siebens and his father Mitch in a competitive game of pool. Don't be fooled, the kid can play. Spend the day with Parker Siebens and you quickly realize this is one determined, inspirational 16-year-old. Xbox, no problem. Facebook, Twitter, okay. Using the stump of his right arm near the shoulder, Parker is able to click and spin the mouse, even type. At the school in Milner, Parker is with the same buddies he played with as a toddler following his accident back in 2000. They know him like a brother, and it is that family feel here that has made his move to independence so impressive. Lunchtime is sometimes a team effort. Thank you. <laughs> Parker texts like everyone else. He's just more inventive. Well, at first, I didn't really know how I wanted to text. I just wanted to be cool and get a phone. So I got it, and then I decided I should probably figure out how to text so I don't just leave it in my room all day. But when I hold it, you know, I just use my lips. And he works out every day, lately doing P90X. Parker is involved in everything at school. He helped with Milner's state championship basketball team, and he went to state in speech, humorous category. I wonder why. It's about some guy pretending to be a girl, so he sticks rocks under his shirt, and halfway through the story, he has to start running. I stuck my shirt or my arms under my shirt, and you know, I did this, and when they're running, you know, I had to add gravity into it. The speed, the precision to do the simplest things. Parker's family continues to be amazed at his determination. He's never given up or asked to be baby. There have been rough times, but the little boy adapted, grew up, and has willpower tough as steel. I don't, I don't like getting things for free or people help me and I'm not doing anything back. It's awesome to see how good he's done. I mean, there's lots of things you think, you're pushing him, thinking that he can do better, he can do better, and other people push him. And then you got to sit back and think, well, let him do it at his own pace. Initially, Parker was fitted with prosthetic arms, but he found them to be cumbersome and heavy. And he did much better without them. Parker puts up with people who stare and say obnoxious things. People who don't believe me right away, that gets kind of annoying. They're like, you didn't fall in an auger. You know, like, I think, I think I did. And it's been this town, Milner. <laughs> From the day he came home to a hero's homecoming on Main Street to today in the halls of high school, it's been one community that has wrapped itself around Parker. If I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to do something like, hey, can you help me with this? They're like, no, you can do it yourself. So they know what I can and can't do, and they know that they shouldn't baby me. It's probably more independent than my kids that have all their limbs. <laughs> he loves the lake. He drives a jet ski around the lake. Um, little problem getting on it if he falls off out in the water. But. And helping Dad. I'm driving. On the farm. A field to my house, which isn't dangerous. I just drive like a regular person. Yeah, put my it. arms in the steering wheel and drive away. He sure has changed. That shy little boy with big brown eyes who could not get enough of Legos and Pokemon. Now a young man with a girlfriend thinking about college. You think to the future and you think, how are we going to get him there? And he's just kind of done it on his own. Well, I think it's better to laugh about it than cry about it. And along the way, he's taught everyone some incredible, valuable lessons about life, how to live it, how to live it well. Very proud. Very proud. Still my hero. From Milner, Kevin Wallowin, WDY 6 News.